humans, I'm Mr. King. Air and water topics. So first, what are the tests for water? Can you remember, we cannot test water with Lemus paper because it is neutral. So therefore, it has no effects on the Lemus paper. So first, we can test with anhydrous copper 2 sulfate and color changes from white to blue. Or we can also test with cobalt chloride paper and color changes from blue to pink. So other than these two chemical tests, we can also carry out a physical test okay, by checking the melting point and boiling point. Okay, remember, so you see, if it is a pure water, okay, it will show sharp melting point and boiling point, which means it will boil at exactly 100 degrees Celsius and melt at exactly 0 degrees Celsius. Okay, so next, purification of water. Okay, there are two important steps. First, filtration and then followed by chlorination. Okay, first, so why filtration is needed? It is to remove insoluble impurities and then followed by chlorination to kill bacteria or microorganisms. Okay, that's all you need to remember. Alright, okay, next, composition of air. So remember, okay, air it is made of 78% of nitrogen gas and 21% of oxygen gas. So basically, these two are the main gases in the air. And then followed by the small quantities of normal gases, like example, helium, argon, okay, carbon dioxide, and water vapors. So next, rusting. Okay, remember, in order for rusting to take place, okay, you need water and oxygen. Okay, then followed by some frequently asked questions in the exam. So first, you see, the method used to separate oxygen and nitrogen gas. Okay, remember, you see, in order to separate oxygen or nitrogen gas from the air, okay, we use fractional distillation of liquid air. Okay, remember, it has to be liquid air because fractional distillation separate the mixtures based on different boiling point. Okay, then describe the formation of carbon dioxide. Like example, okay, complete combustion produces carbon dioxide or respiration. Okay, next, how to prevent rusting. So example, galvanizing or sacrificial protection. Okay, or by painting or by plating. Okay, so-called electroplating. Okay, next, pollutants. Okay, there are four different types of pollutants. Okay, you have to remember the source of the pollutant as well as the negative effects of all these pollutants. So first one, carbon monoxide. So carbon monoxide is formed through the incomplete combustion of carbon-containing substances. Okay, and carbon monoxide it is very poisonous to human bodies because they will bind to the red blood cell. Okay, then sulfur dioxide gas. So sulfur dioxide gas is formed through the burnings of sulfur-containing substances. Okay, and then sulfur dioxide gas is acidic, therefore it will produce acid rain. So what are the side effects of acid rain? Okay, acid rain will kill plants and corrode buildings. Okay, then it's followed by oxide of nitrogen. Okay, remember, the source of oxide of nitrogen is always a two marks question. So first one, nitrogen and oxygen reacts, one mark, under high temperature, one mark. Okay, important. Okay, same thing, oxide of nitrogen, non-metal oxide. And we know that non-metal oxide, they are acidic oxides. So therefore, oxide of nitrogen will also produce acid rain. Okay, then last one, lead. Okay, so lead, it is formed from lead petrol. Okay, and lead, it is very dangerous to human. Why? Because it causes brain damage. Okay, next, catalytic removal. So it can be found in all vehicles, okay, because it functions to convert all the harmful gas into harmless gas. Yeah, so basically this is to prevent the emission of harmful gas into the atmosphere. So basically, okay, there will be two gases that will get converted, okay, carbon monoxide and oxide of nitrogen. See, first one, carbon monoxide. It reacts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide gas. Nitrogen monoxide, it gets converted into nitrogen gas and oxygen gas. So we see these are the equations. Okay? And the overall equation, okay, it is the combination of both of these equations. Okay? So you combine okay, both equations on the left hand side together and on the right hand side together okay? and you eliminate oxygen. This is the overall equation that you would get. Uh, you have to remember this equation. Okay, so in the exam, most commonly, okay, they ask you to write the overall equation.
Thanks. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you again. Bye.